cousins were ambushed by gunmen in Chase Village, Chaguanas, on Monday, leaving one dead and the other injured. Both police and relatives of the victims were baffled by the incident. Peter Christopher has more. A rainy Monday was made even gloomier for a Chagolas family when gunmen killed one man and injured his cousin. 23-year-old Robert Maynard was fatally shot in the back of his head when two men stormed his home at Guru Trace, Chase Village. During the attack, his cousin Joshua Cabrales was also hit in the lower back. Grandmother of the two men, Lucille Waterman, heard the shooting but did not realize her grandchildren were the victims. All I hear is I said I got shot, so I said, boys shooting somebody, and that, oh dear. So when I look out, I just see two person run, and then I look out, I see my right hand. I said, boys, Robert, they shoot. How can they quick come here and shoot Robert? And then I went to him, and I said, you are still breathing. But I said, he got blood pumping all in his neck, and all pumping out. The gunmen escaped in a waiting car. Maynard was taken to the Freeport Health Facility, where he was pronounced dead. Cabrales was taken to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex, where he was treated and discharged. Police are still to solidify a motive for the shooting. Peter Christopher, C News. The 50-year-old PH taxi driver was murdered in his car in Laventil this morning. Wilton Francis was driving along Laventil Road when a man flagged him down and the man revealed he had a firearm and shot Fan Francis through the passenger side window. Francis, a father of 15, attempted to reverse his car to escape further gunfire but crashed into a vehicle behind him. He died at the scene. Meanwhile, in an unrelated incident, the body of a woman found in San Fernando has been identified as that of Crystal Balcharan. 32-year-old Balcharan was identified by her mother. Balcharan's last known address was listed as Laro May.